Edward Paul Arsenault is a cryptozoologist. A cryptozoologist studying the rake. The rake, a hairless albino cryptid known for its sharp teeth and huge clawed rake-like hands. It is also known for its extremely aggressive behavior towards humans and has been documented as entering homes and bedrooms to kill. Arsenault's research is controversial as he claims the rake is actually a subterranean dweller whose natural habitat are caves and fissures beneath the earth. Arsenault says he received the following email from a foreign student attending a Canadian university in regards to an encounter with the rake. From the email. I attend university in a city with an extremely, to me, cold climate. As it is both too far and too expensive to go home, I was spending the Christmas holidays in Canada, but some friends invited me to go skiing, and I was looking forward to trying it for the first time. Alas, I had an exam on the very last afternoon, so I ended up having to wait two days for my friends to pick me up. It was a strange and rather creepy situation. I live in residence, and I was the only one there. Really. I was completely isolated and alone. And I must admit, it made me nervous. I found I couldn't sleep, and as you can only play video games and surf the net so long, I decided to go for a walk, but not outside, where it was minus 20 Celsius. Warren here, that's minus 4 Fahrenheit for our American listeners. Now, back to the email. My university has an extensive network of underground tunnels which connect the majority of buildings on campus, so it is possible to walk from one end of school to the other without exposing yourself to the elements, a real plus in, say, December. It was after 2 a.m., so everything on campus was shut down. In fact, a lot of it was already shut down for the Christmas holidays. And, as a result, the tunnels were completely deserted. Not that I noticed at first. I had my earbuds in and was just enjoying being in motion and checking out the artwork and graffiti that covered the tunnel walls. But, after 20 minutes of prowling these twilight corridors and not encountering a single living soul, my sense of nervousness returned. In fact, I started feeling like someone was watching me, that someone was actually following me. I'd heard rumors that a number of people had gone missing from campus, mostly young women, but some guys and university employees as well. Information on these incidents was pretty cloudy, but the common denominator was supposed to be the tunnels. I took out my earbuds in order to listen to my surroundings. It's probably not a good idea to walk around after dark without being able to hear what is going on around you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Duh! At first I couldn't hear anything other than the faint industrial hum of the lighting and heating systems. I was about to put my buds back in when I heard the shriek. It was loud and piercing, far louder than any noise I had ever heard before. And it was terrifying. It just had this blood-curdling quality 
that made me catch my breath. It seemed to be coming from somewhere in front of me. I was in a long, straight stretch of tunnel, and at the very limits of my vision, I could see something moving, something white and low to the ground. I squinted my eyes, unable to make it out. And then it shrieked once again and appeared to be running towards me, running towards me on all fours. I still couldn't see it clearly, but I didn't stick around for a closer look, but took off as fast as I could. And now I was screaming too. I had wandered a long way from my residence and I wasn't sure I could make it back to safety. Oh, why, oh, why didn't I just stay in my room? The thing had continued its bane and seemed to be getting closer and closer. I chanced a quick glance over my shoulder, and what I saw made me scream anew. The thing that was chasing me was humanoid in appearance, humanoid, but completely white like an albino. It was hairless, had red flashing eyes and claws, huge claws, huge, and it was gaining on me. Was it a ghoul? A djinn? I ran for my very life, for my very soul, and heard another sound, a welcome sound, the beeping sound of an approaching university vehicle. University staff used these vehicles, which were like oversized golf carts to travel from one end of campus to the other. As the tunnels were usually full of students, they made a beeping noise to warn of their approach. This one contained four university security officers, each one carrying an automatic weapon. One of the cops yelled, Get in! And so I did. The thing was already fleeing scared off by the lights and by the beeping of the security vehicle and by the guns pointed at it. We rode back to my residence in silence, one of the cops escorting me back to my room. When we got there, he said curtly, Stay in your room now and don't go into the tunnels at night and forget about everything you just saw. But how? How can I forget? Arsenault concludes, it's clear from this young man's testimony that he saw the rake, the white albino hairless body, the flashing red eyes, the huge clawed hands, and the unearthly shrieks are a perfect description of the rake and its aggressive behavior. As I believe it to be an underground dweller, it has no doubt found some means of entry into these tunnels. Tunnels, another underground environment. I suspect what scared it off in this instance were the bright lights of the university vehicle. They would have hurt its light-sensitive eyes. I also have no doubt that the rake is responsible for all the supposedly mysterious disappearances. This young man has had a narrow escape. Warren here. So Arsenault thinks the young man was attacked by the rake. But what do you think, dear listeners? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And stay safe, stay subscribed, ring the bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos, and feel free to share this video or any of my videos with anyone you please. If this is your first visit to my channel, please consider subscribing. My name is Warren, and I write and tell original ghost stories and original horror stories featuring such cryptids as the Night Floaters, Werewolves, and the Black-Eyed Children. So again, 
please consider subscribing. Please help me to reach my goal of 2,500 subs in 2022. Till midnight. Cheers. Pictures used in today's video, courtesy of Pix here. That's PX here. While the music was the dreadful, the dread, by that patron of the internet, Kevin McLeod.